Hello all, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial, we are going to talk about how we can create the side plate uh, with a left configuration. So you can see here in the last video, we have done this uh, right plate and we are going to create a left plate by using this particular uh, plate. So this right plate is completely done with a parametric, all the features, everything is uh, done in the previous tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are not going to create any feature, any sketch or any extrude in the plate. So we are going to copy the whatever the features that are existing in the right plate into the left plate. So how we are going to do that, we are going to show it to you. So now you can see here, we cannot use this particular right plate and the left position. So this is exactly in the mirror position. So we cannot use it. So in order to create this, how we can go to uh, you, can, you can just go to new uh, window for this particular uh, right plate and here you can see this is the right plate and all the features are existing in the part navigator so you can see here okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new parent assembly so this is going to be a new parent assembly and let me keep it as everything as it is and i'll just click ok <clears throat> so you can right click here and switch on this wave mode so once this is um you know switched on we can able to see this uh, wave option here so we can go to wave option and we have uh, multiple options here and we are going to create with create linked mirror part okay so once we hit this you can see it is asking for the name so name i'm going to give as a mirror part okay and then i'm going to select a model here so you can see here in the model we have complete body but in the entire part we don't have anything so always select uh, make sure that your body is completely selected and you can select that particular reference set so now it is asking for a mirror plane so we are going to create a mirror plane by using the plane dialog box here so go to plane dialog box and you can see here you can keep it as import and i'm going to select this plane okay i'll just click okay so as soon as I click OK, so now we can see here, this is going to be our mirror plane and we have multiple options here. Keep it as exact mirror and you can just click OK. So as soon as you click OK, uh, you can see here mirror part has been created. So this is already, you know, you can see here, this is a linked body. So it has, it is being linked with uh, some other part. So this means that it is having, uh, you know, link with the other bodies. So now what I'm going to do is I'll just go to the same um, assembly and i'll just add this mirror part into this assembly so go to here and search for mirror part click ok so now you can see here this is exactly in the mirror position so i'll just move it okay so we can just click ok so now you can see here this is completely mirrored so how this can be editable i already told you that whatever we have created in the left part is editable so suppose if you want to try to edit it and if you go to open a new window and try to check the you know, part navigator you cannot see any of the features over here so how we can able to edit it you can edit it by using a right part so you can see here there is a right part and you can just go to here so whatever the changes that you are going to do it in this part uh, will be reflected in the uh, left part so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to this extrude and i'll just make this as a current feature so now you can see here this is going to be my current feature and we have only extrude in the right part suppose if you go to assembly and you can check it see you can see the left part is also having only extrude so this is how it is going to update as per the right part so it is always having a link between these two you cannot be able to edit independently on the left part and the right part okay so this is how it is going to work so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the right part and update until the end okay so i'm going to make current feature for the last part so now it's everything is done you can see here the right uh, left part is also updated so now I'm going to save this part. So this is how you can create a left part by using a right part whenever it has, uh, not only in suspension assembly, whenever you have an assembly where uh, there is an exact mirror of a component, so we can be able to create it by using a wavelength geometry. So this is how it works, guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button. Thank you, guys.